Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday market webcast. Okay, so daily chart, you can see a couple days of the upper uh, Bollinger Band. They pulled it back Friday, traded as low as 38.13 quarter. Um, it's been a neutral to kind of a, you know, it's starting to become a little more heavy Globex session. Um, they opened it up, traded as high as uh, 53. Uh, 25 right around Europe open and they've taken about 20 handles off it down to test the daily pivot in and around 3830 3831 so as we head into the week I've got a couple of thoughts here you got the nine day and the weekly pivot locked up right around 3809 3810 um, I my feeling is in situations like this especially with um, with a little bit of pushback Friday, establishing this 53 area here, you know, you can kind of draw a line here, your push up late in the day, uh, the three o'clock push that got pushed back, you know, was 53.75. Earlier you had done 53.75, 53.25, 54 quarters. So there's a little bit of a theme here. Um, so 53s are a problem until they're not. You've got the nine day and the weekly pivot locked up in an area like 3809, 3810. Typically that area over the next, you know, one to three sessions gets a look. Then the question becomes, do they hold it or do they bounce it? I think certainly there's enough loaded in the tape still to do 3810 and print new all time highs uh, during the course of this week. In what order? I don't know. Don't really care, but there's enough volatility in there for us to, to all be able to find what we need to find. Um, as we head into today, though, I'm expecting one of these sleepy, sloppy Monday opens. Um, you've got to be aware of the hourly mid band there at 38.43. Volume weighted average price is there as well, 44. Our proprietary moving average is 43.5. So 43.44 is really your bull bear line. I want to be long above. I want to be short below. I want to continue to respect this hourly mid band for the, 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 as being the catalyst for the next leg in the tape. You saw some compression. They tried to push it down. They had a chance to take it back. They couldn't. Bulls had a chance to turn hourly mid band into support, push it higher. They stalled at 53 back below it now. So you got a little higher low here, you got some lower highs. It's just kind of, it's compressing, it's knocking around between, you know, 59 and, and, and you know, call it, you know, 38, 20, 38, 15, um, while it digests a new presidency, the policies and, uh, and things that are coming out of that, the stimulus, there's a lot to deal with. Vaccines and COVID and everything else. Um, Although I think the COVID numbers, I mean, I think the tape is so immune to those. Um, it doesn't really do, do anything. I do think, though, the tape is going to become more concerned as time goes on with respect to how things are moving on the vaccination front as a reflection of whether the economy in the second half of the year is what all of these talking heads from the Fed say it's going to be. And as long as that's the case, I think you see a bid stay right under this market. Um, a little bit of profit taking you down to 38.10 or going back to the daily mid band down here in the 37.75 area is not out of the question. Uh, the last two um, larger moves here, you had to move down to the daily mid band here, move down to the daily mid band here. Do we do it again? You know, I don't know, but that's what, you know, that's what the e mini likes to do upper band, middle band, lower band, although it hasn't been able to do that the last couple of times, which has turned it into a pure dip by market and yielded new all time highs. But certainly spending a couple of days at the upper band, <clears throat> you have to start thinking about with lower highs and with areas like 53 sealing off, the potential of going back to the mid band at some point, if not this week, then by the end of the month. All right, well, this week is the end of the month. There you go, Mike. Must be Monday morning. I'm going to get some more coffee. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day.
Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade and well. Come check out the room. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.